So we're here at the SID Display Week and the, who are you? I'm Tara Akaban. I am a co-founder and chief technology officer at Iris Tech. It's a startup in display industry. That's how I got involved with uh, SID in the first place. I'm also marketing vice chair at SID. I've been volunteering at SID for a few years now. So uh, what is this uh, startup you're talking about? It's called Iris Tech, based in Montreal. Uh, our vision is to bring perception into the display industry. Our screens today are, are built by engineers and the people who are actually doing research on the side effects of being exposed by screens more than eight hours a day, uh, eight hours a day, and how, how it affects the children, how it affects their development, uh, are actually physiologists and psychologists. So in Iris Tech, we have the vision to bring in psychologists and physiologists at the table to make screens healthier, make screens smarter, and uh, more readable in different lighting conditions. Healthier, smarter, more readable? In, so it's, example, a, it's a different kind of display. It's not just it a display. It's a software that can get into any kind of screen. So it will get embedded into an operating system and it adds the smartness uh, to any kind of screen, LCD, OLED or anything, to, to react more dynamically to the environment and to the individual user which is looking at the screen. So maybe the brightness levels will change? Brightness levels will change, the whole content will change, so the whole rendering of the content will change. Uh, and uh, we will personalize the screen to the uh, viewer. As an example, when we age, our eyes age with us, and uh, we lose the sensitivity to contrast massively, our color perception changes, and that is not taken into account in any of the screens. So. Uh, that's so what we do. Is it software? Is it in the driver software. of the display or is it just in the OS? It's, it's a software that can get integrated into driver level, but now we are integrating it into an operating system level or an app level. It could be like on an Android device, maybe. Could be, yeah. Yeah? So are you launching? Is it launch? Is it, what, yes. what is the stage right yes, now? Yes, yes. Uh, we do have customers. Uh, we are, uh, since I moved from Vienna uh, to Montreal to start this company, it has been three years, uh, four years, sorry. Uh, I moved in May 2014 from Vienna University of Technology when I was, where I was doing my PhD to Montreal to start this company. And uh, um, since then, we've been involved with automotive and with consumer electronics. So a lot of our customers are from automotive. Uh, and uh, we will be in production with automotive and consumer electronics in Q4 this year. So you're vice chair of marketing at the SID. That's true. And uh, what do you think about the SID? And why is it, what, what do you think about it? So SID is an amazing, very diverse event. So it's the only event that I know which is focused on displays. You can find anything about displays there. And then you can learn about marketing, business, tech, um, science, uh, exhibition, uh, so it's, it's very diverse. It's actually the booklet, if you look at it, is, is too much events happening in parallel that there's no way you can cover it all. So that's an amazing thing. Um, for me, I started with publishing papers here a few years ago. Uh, I attended the exhibition with my startup, then I started volunteering and helping with SID because I think what they lack is younger generation and definitely women. It's a very um, conventional, male-oriented society. So it's very old, right? It's from the 50s? Exactly, that is, it's very old. And um, that's why I, I decided to volunteer so that, and then we started the Women in Tech last year and this year for the second time to, to bring that energy and that diversity and hopefully involve younger generation in volunteering and stepping up and getting involved in, in SID. What was uh, the paper you were publishing when you first joined? Well, we, we're publishing a uh, few papers every year. This year we are, uh, we are presenting, our team is presenting as well. Um, this year we're presenting a paper on uh, compensation for color blindness. So it's a solution for screens to, to help color blinds to distinguish uh, between colors that they cannot uh, usually see so that they can continue a task like, like following a map or something. You have a solution? We do have a perceptual solution to compensate for that. So we cannot make them see those colors that they cannot um, biologically see, but we can make it distinguishable enough so that they can... Uh, they Maybe can contrast something. Like, 
a lot of things. Yeah. I'm not gonna get yeah. into the IP. Come on, yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. But how uh, about the, how about this? Uh, um, the women in tech you were just moderating. Right. Uh, how did that go? Uh, I think it went great. Uh, well, I shouldn't be the one who says uh, it went People great. People can watch the video online. Definitely. There'll yeah, be a link. So, so uh, I definitely enjoyed it myself. That's what I can say. And uh, there were amazing panelists uh, on the panel. Uh, we had uh, cool discussions. We we went, I think, 30 minutes uh, over. Uh, the hour that we had. Uh, we had a lot of questions from the audience. I had to actually cut it at the end because we were running uh, so much behind. Um, I think it was an amazing um, panel and I, and I wish for it to continue and uh, I wish for everybody to kind of um, think about diversity, not only for women and men, every aspect of diversity, background, gender, religion, uh, LGBT, everything. And one amazing thing about it was uh, most of the attendees were men. That, that's great. And the uh, SID definitely needs to get upgraded because it will make SID better, right? And th that means the future displays will be better. Exactly, exactly. Not only displays, the future of the tech. Like everywhere we need diversity because, uh, because when things are diverse, it's proven that we will get better results. So it's not just for the sake of having women or having LGBT or having different religions on the table. It's the fact that they have different um, mindset, they have different point of views and the diversity and discussions always help with innovation, help with changing and help with, with moving forward with uh, new technologies.